Hey guys, I'm Sean from Autoplicity. We've been getting a lot of questions about how we load up the Defender when we're getting ready to head out into the desert or the mountains for camping for the weekend. So today's video is gonna be all about that. How we pack, what we pack, where it goes, how we decide what goes on the roof versus in the truck, how we stay organized, all the questions that you guys have been asking for. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, please hit the like button and subscribe. It really helps motivate us to keep going. So. Let's just dive right into it. Okay, so we got everything laid out here so I can kind of show you what we got going on and just start loading things in one by one. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this uh, big black box here. This is something that I whipped up in the garage. I just wanted to be able to have the Dometic slider that we use for the fridge inside so that the fridge can slide in and out without having to unpack everything that you keep on top of the fridge. So uh, we can load the fridge inside here. We use a Dometic 55 uh, CFX3 IM, which has the ice maker, very nice. And uh, this allows us to pack stuff on top without having to move it off when you pull the fridge out. So kind of learned that over the years. Don't want to have to move everything every time you need to get in there. Here's so. just a quick peek at this box. It's uh, nothing special. Got a notch out here on the left so that we can access that internal air compressor that the Defender has. If you haven't seen that video, I'll uh, link it below. Then you've got the Dometic slide. These are available in a variety of sizes depending on which fridge you're using. And then just kind of in the back cutouts for uh, where the vents are on the fridge itself and a little handle on the top. I put some non-slip kind of toolbox liner here on the top with some straps so that I can pack stuff on top. Uh, and then the whole thing is shot with a little uh, industrial bed liner. So I'll just go ahead and throw this in. It, uh, it's pretty heavy, probably a two man job for a lot of people. So this is how that's situated. And now you can see why we had the cut out here to be able to access that um, I just use the tie down points that are in the Defender and I loop this up and around and over the top and tie it down into that side so that uh, this is held on tight from the back and that's sufficient for keeping it in place. Okay, so next uh, we'll go ahead and load up the fridge and uh, throw that into the box. So uh, when I was making the box, I did leave a nice place to be able to slide my cutting board in and then we'll pop out that tray and you can see it's got plenty of support just with the one uh, ratchet strap holding that down. Grab our fridge. Pops right in, kind of falls into place here with the cutouts on that. Slide that back and the fridge is in. And you can see how the inside looks here. This is the ratchet strap holding that box down. And we've got, if you watched our dual battery video, hard wire for the fridge. Just gonna flip that up, plug it in, and uh, we rock and roll. Then we're gonna come over here and uh, just turn on the fridge on our Red Arc dual battery system. Uh, if you haven't seen that video with how that all got wired up, I'll uh, link to it below. And uh, fridge is on, currently 48 degrees. Get it set for 34 is where I like to keep it. And we're good to go. Continue loading up. Okay, so let's go ahead and load these boxes up. We've got our front runner wolf packs. These are awesome, super rigid. You can stand on them. They won't crush, keep everything inside nice and safe. I like to load these into the vehicle in order of least to most used so that the stuff I don't need that often is loaded into the bottom. So first one up is gonna be the shower, the fuel, soap, dishwashing stuff. We'll go ahead and throw that in first. Won't need that until tomorrow. So packed up, it's labeled with what's inside. and fits right inside our vehicle like a glove. Another nice thing about these things is 
they interlock with each other. So uh, once you set them in there, whether it's on the roof, which I have done and they're nice and weather tight or in the vehicle, they're not sliding around on each other, which is great. Um, also, we're using the extended height lids, which are available for a few extra bucks. And for me, that allows us to kind of have a little bit of an overflow heaping spoonful, if you will, of supplies inside. You can throw this on top and still get all your gear in there. So next box in is uh, gonna be our kitchen. We've got pots and pans and uh, paper towels, things like that. Also got the front runner kitchen kit, which is really nice. It's got all the uh, utensils and knives and cutting board that you would need for cooking in the desert or wherever you're at. So got that thrown in there and right on top of the last one. Uh, okay, last but not least, the food box. We're gonna be getting in and out of this one all the time for jerky and nuts and oatmeal, things like that along the trail while we're overlanding and at camp. So that goes on top. As I said, Keeps everything inside nice and safe, not getting crushed. If you have a leak, it's not gonna go spilling all over your cab, which is great. Last box in. All right, so let's take a half time close up here and see what we're looking like. We've got enough space for a whole nother wolf pack or two if we put them sideways on top of the fridge. We've got three packed over here on the side and plenty of room to put a whole duffel bag or what you need uh, for clothing next to it. So coming right along, we're halfway there at least and plenty of space left. All right, we got our wolf packs in. Those are all ready to go. Now let's go ahead and just load the rest of this stuff in. Using the rooftop tent this weekend uh, by myself. So just gonna bring a nice sleeping bag. This is a 20 degree bag from uh, REI works really well and one pillow not gonna bother with all the bedding uh, that I stick in this 105 liter Rome adventure box which you can find on the site they're completely waterproof and they got the really trick pneumatic lid that opens up so that makes it easy to just pop your stuff in there if you're not that sometimes I can climb up on the ladder if I need to and shove all that in there. I'm gonna try out, uh, OVS just came out with these walls that go on the uh, 270 degree awning we use. So I'm gonna bring one of these this weekend and give it a shot, see if it gives us a little extra protection. That up there, anything else that's kind of small, probably fit our jet boil stove up there okay. That looks about as full as we want to get it. So we'll just go ahead and close it up. Seal her up. Nice and weather tight. Notice there is a bottle opener conveniently located at the back of the vehicle for camp. All right, roof is loaded and full. Put all the light stuff up there. Let's get the rest of our gear into the back. We like the Tembo Test Scottle. You can find this on the site uh, very soon. Uh, it's a great kind of walk type device that uh, you can cook on. If you've watched any overlanding videos online, you've seen plenty of people using this. Got Scott legs, can't leave home without those. Xantrex Solar, 100 watt solar panel. This hooks up to our dual battery system that you've probably seen the video on. These work really, really well. Super slim line. I keep the extension cable in the back. This, I've got a trick little spot that I wedge in here on the side. Doesn't take up any space at all. I like this roll top table that I found. Uh, it's super sturdy and doesn't take up too much spot in the vehicle, but I think it's, uh, yeah, it's almost uh, two and a half by five foot table when you extend it. So plenty big for camp. Got that loaded. This chair, <laughs> picked up at REI, 
really like this, super comfortable. A little bit bigger than some of the smaller like backpacking style chairs you'd get, but that's okay. I'm a big guy and uh, after doing all the work at camp, it feels nice to have a nice chair. So we got that loaded in. That's really everything that's gonna go in the car, except for I'll bring a backpack with uh, some camera gear and some clothes in it and throw that in the back seat or right here in this empty space and everything's loaded up and ready to go. All right, so we got the inside of the truck all loaded up, uh, plenty of room left for a couple backpacks for two people and uh, just quickly gonna touch on what we have up here on the roof. We've got uh, the front runner jerry can uh, holder for two cans and two front runner jerry cans available in black uh, or red mounted up on the roof that holds i think uh, about 10 gallons of fuel between the two of them and then we've got the 11 gallon front runner water supply unit which i top off right before i leave and i hook up a little hose to it and it gives me uh, nice fresh water all weekend long if there's one question i've been asked more than anything else it's about this table that's on the tailgate of the Defender. So yes, it's a front runner tailgate table. It is available on autoplicity.com. It works really well. I think the Defender tailgate's probably a little more reinforced than the Jeep. So you don't even need the reinforcement plate that comes with it. Really simple to install. All we did was punch in a couple extra holes where we needed them. We reused some of the ones that were pre-drilled from front runner and bought some longer bolts that reuse the bolt holes that are in the Defender tailgate. Works really, really well. And uh, we use it all the time, throwing the uh, stove on there for when we're camping, making a sandwich, enjoying some beverages. All right, nearing the finish line here. So the last thing we're gonna mount up are our ARB Tread Pro recovery boards. I like to bring these whenever we're off-roading for the weekend and the uh, mounting plate. There's a bunch of different ways you can throw Tread Pros or Max Tracks on your vehicle. Probably the most popular is up on the roof. Our roof's a little busy if you haven't noticed. So I like to just strap this onto the spare tire. It takes just a couple minutes and then you can pop these right on. All right, so got the bracket on nice and sturdy. These just slide right on. And you got two quick. You can put up to four boards on one mount. All right, and last but not least, can't leave home without some place to throw all the trash uh, as we go along throughout the weekend. So. Uh, we're using a trash roof for this weekend, works pretty well. I'll load it up with firewood, fit about three or four bundles in there before we head out. And then as we deplete the firewood, we add trash. Great way to store all your stuff. All right, and last but not least, we've got the little side box here on the Defender loaded up with all of our recovery gear. This is a first aid kit, a snatch strap, uh, tree saver, fuel, nozzle for the fuel cans we have on the roof. Got some uh, soft shackles, gloves, everything you need for recovery. I'm dove into this several times already with the winch on the front pulling out other vehicles. So definitely comes in handy. Well, that's all we got for you guys today. Really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it answered some of the questions that we've been getting in some of the other ones. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit the like button and subscribe. We really appreciate that. It helps keep us uh, going on the channel here. And if you'd like to check out any of the other videos that we mentioned throughout this covering some of the dual battery or the loadout of the vehicle, please do so. I think you'll find some stuff that you like. And of course, Everything thing that we talked about today is available for purchase on autoplicity.com. So please come on over, follow the links in the description and uh, check us out. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.